Hello, everybody. We are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild with the second episode of searching for our great one red deer here on Tiabaroa. We are getting quite decent herd management going at this point in the grind. We're about 300 kills in, and I've got the majority of this right side of the map managed down. Now, the way we're approaching this, if you guys did not know this time around, we are trying to manage it down like one segment at a time to hopefully make this process easier. That way I can dedicate more tents to a smaller area and hopefully get things managed down pretty quickly. Let's go ahead and take this guy down right here. We're going to attempt to get that seven as well, but who knows how that's going to go. And wow, it actually went well. And then if we go over here, we've got a level six that we need to kill. Let's pull out the 300 to make this a little bit faster. I somehow hit the female in the head. I don't know how that happened. That is an absolutely beautiful stag. Let's see. There is slight splits on the brows. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this is the smaller one. Um, I might be wrong, but I think this is the smaller variation of this rack, and it definitely is. 255.44, a diamond to start the day. You love to see it. That is our fourth diamond in this grind after 310 kills. We're on our way. We're definitely on our way. This is, uh, not too bad. We're slightly ahead of the curve in terms of what the average kills are per diamond. Normally, you get a diamond every 100 kills, and we're just slightly above that right now, so... We're moving in the right direction. Hopefully this map will be managed down within a thousand kills or so. Now this zone right here, if I'm not mistaken, in the last video, we had a total of uh, four stags here and then two of them were level fours. The other two were shootables. I think it's still the same. I'm not sure where the other four is. I assume he's just not rendered in or he hasn't arrived to the zone yet, but we do have another four here. So that's a total of two fours and two larger ones. So we're still trying to manage this zone down. But with how many stags are here in just one zone, I've kind of been second guessing whether or not I want to manage it down. Like, this is on the side of the river that I don't want to have to hunt. And there's our other four. He just wasn't rendered in before. But as much as I want to manage down this entire side of the map, this zone is a good zone. So depending on what we find on the left half of the map, we may end up keeping this one. But that's a beautiful mythical there. 228.54. That's a good looking mythical. This is probably the lake that we have made the most progress on. We have managed to get four of the five stags in this zone to be level fours. This is the only one that isn't. So that is nice. We can hopefully get this guy shot down very soon. You know, earlier today when I was hanging out in a call with Brobra and Tony and Kinsko, we ended up coming across something pretty insane here on the Red Deer Grind, and I have not shot it yet. However, I did get a recording of my reaction through the uh, replay buffer feature on OBS. So I was able to get my reaction. So let's take a look at that now before I show you guys this insane trophy. Out of the, I haven't been keeping up with stuff. I haven't looked at the super, super recent ones either. It's one of the EX ones. Is that a Mela? Oh my you gosh, is that a mythical maybe. Mela? Let's go. Oh my gosh, that's a mythical Mela. Nice. Holy, and it's my favorite rack. Oh my gosh, like dude. The bigger, like, kind of like diamond looking rack, or? Uh, no, 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 no. It's the one that looks like the OG diamonds. Holy, dude. Oh, I that's sick. I know which one you're talking I'm about. So gl <laughs> I'm so glad I have the replay buffer on. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Oh, Lee, yeah, that's that's totally mellow. Let me spot something else real quick. Look at that. Yeah, that's mellow for sure. Oh, my gosh. Oh, let's go. I love that rack, too. That's sick. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's funny that uh, I see this guy right here because that is the exact same rack of our beautiful melanistic. I cannot believe that we have such a stunning melanistic on the map and we finally get to take him down. Like, this is just a dream come true. We've got really lucky with Mela's in the last two Red Deer grinds that we've done. Well, actually, last, I guess, last three Red Deer grinds that we've done. We've had some good luck with them. However, none quite as cool as this one right here. The only thing that would make this better is if it was a super rare. I mean, looking at this guy, you can see a little bit closer now what type of amazing rack that dude over there has. It is just a stunning rack. So before we go over and take down that Melanistic, let's shoot this guy right here. Grab him on the way as we try to stock up closer to that beautiful Mela. 
All right, there's this guy as we go by. So this guy scores 212. That should be roughly the same range as what that Mela should score. So yeah, this is a good indication of what that guy might be able to score. Maybe slightly more, maybe slightly less. My prediction is going to be 215. I'm going to say 215 because I've seen a lot of them score around there. I have decided to do something kind of crazy with this guy. We are going to bow hunt him, which means I got to approach this and at like the most careful way that I possibly can. And I don't know how I'm going to do this. He's already periodically going attentive like that. <laughs> Uh, this is going to be tough, and we only have 28 minutes left before drink time ends. So we need to make the most out of this time that we possibly can. You know, it has been a while since I've used the Hawk Edge bow, but from what I've heard, it's one of the best bows you could possibly use. It's got the highest draw weight of any of the bows in the game, even the DLC bow. It is definitely the best bow in the game if you're a bow hunter and you want just like the most reliable bow that you could possibly get. This thing is incredible. So I am excited to try and take this down with it. I just got to make sure that we don't take too long of a shot or uh, forget to compensate for the wind or anything like that. We got to be extra careful. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. He definitely knows we're here. He's alerted. I don't like that. Oh, no. This could be disastrous if he runs or just doesn't go broadside. Okay, he's back to attentive. Maybe we'll be okay? That's an awful angle, though. Oh, no. Am I actually about to do this? Am I actually about to take this terrible angle right here? I mean, if it lets me get to 20, I will do it. Because I think we can probably make that. <gasps> oh, he's going. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's good. Holy crap, that was risky. But we somehow pulled it off, I think. Yeah, that's vital organs. We nailed him. We absolutely nailed him. What a crazy kill on this beautiful melanistic. You love to see it, man. You love to see it. Look at him. Wow. That is stunning. Let's go ahead and claim him to 1186. So a little bit lower scoring than what I predicted, but definitely the most beautiful trophy that we have got this entire grind. This is our very first rare. It's been 317 kills with this guy. That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. What a stunning trophy. This like right here, it is the North Pukimaro Lake. This has become... One of the fastest managed down lakes on this grind. Both those are level fours there. We still need to shoot that guy, but we also have a four there. And I believe we have another level three somewhere. Actually, that guy's a level three right there. So we have a level three, two fours, and then that seven there. And then we got some fours over in this zone and a couple on the zone that I'm currently on top of. So we have a good portion of it managed down. Try to get a shot on this guy as he's walking over. Yeah, it's going to be a drop shot. And then we have a seven there. Oh, how did that miss? Well, second and third didn't miss. So that's all that really matters. You know, this like right here is another one that we are just slowly getting managed down. We still have a few big ones to shoot like that level eight, as well as this level six right here. And this level six over here, wherever it went. There he is. And then aside from those, we do have a seven over here, but he keeps spooking off whenever I shoot those ones. So I haven't been able to take this guy down in the like three or four runs that I've went by him. This is another zone that's been a little bit stubborn. It keeps respawning as level sevens and level sixes when I really would like to manage this one down. Because, you know, it's on the half of the map that I'm trying to manage first. And yeah, it's just unfortunate to have a zone like that there. But that is a five that we need to shoot. So let's just pop him. Should be a couple shootables over here unless they've been shot down. Four and a five. We got a three. And another four. You know, that five is small enough to where I might be able to leave it and have it not affect things too much. I, I guess we'll see. We'll leave him there for now. We can always come get him later if we really need to. That right, there's a nice level seven. Let's go ahead and put a shot into this guy as well. 
So this lake alone, we got three of them. We got three up there. So I think these two have the majority of our shootable males on this side of the map. Gosh, so close to having this zone shot down. If that would have been a four, it would have been all over. But it's a five. So we got to shoot it and let another one respawn. Well, still level six in this zone. I really hope we can get this one managed down soon because it's a little bit more annoying to hunt. And also the one that uh, respawned in place of that mythical eight was a seven. Let's just give that guy two. Down he goes. Or he should. No, we messed it up. Well, <laughs> we're doing great. You know, I think it's only fitting that we put this Mela right here and move this Mela to a different room. Even though the one that's already here scores higher, this guy just completes everything that this wall is about. Having these crazy looking red deer rares. And I mean, what's better than having three racks that look very similar on piebald, Mela, and albino? That is stunning. That is absolutely beautiful, man. And there is our melanistic red deer. I think that actually looks quite nice. Um, we need to get like the proper angle to him. Uh, is that it? I don't know. Ah, uh, that's good enough. I like that. I think this looks pretty good. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like down below as well as a comment and subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.